Hey guys, it's Kelly with Comeback Yoga. I just wanted to say hi to my friends at 5th Battalion, 19th Special Forces Group, um, especially hi to Bruce and Kelsey. Uh, this yoga practice was kind of requested by Kelsey. She wanted something a little longer and a little more challenging. So hopefully this will inspire you guys to get back on the mat and do some yoga. I want you to know that we're thinking about you here and that I will be there on the mat ready to see you when you get back. Um, I hope you're taking good care of yourselves and we miss you and we'll see you soon. So let's start by taking a comfortable seat, bringing your shoulders stacked over your hips, which for most of us, because we're at a computer all day, means we need to lean a little bit back. Find that comfortable seat and just start to come in to the space that you're in. Maybe you're in an office, maybe you're in your living room, wherever you are, just start to focus only on the space that you're in. If you're comfortable, you can go ahead and close your eyes. Start to focus on your breath. Maybe even bring your hand to your belly and notice if you're breathing all the way from your belly button, expanding your ribs all the way up to your collarbones and then coming all the way down, collarbones through ribs, back down to belly button. Filling all the way up on an inhale and exhaling all the way out. Sometimes we have to let the bad stuff out to try to let some of the good stuff in. So exhales are just as, if not more important than a big inhale. So really treat yourself to good breath during this entire sequence. Keep breathing, inhale, fill all the way up and exhale, let it all the way out. Good, good. Start to notice your body. Start to notice how you're feeling in your body today. Maybe something isn't feeling 100% the way that you want it to. Acknowledge it and move on. Don't judge it. Don't assign any words to it. Just notice it and move on and take care of that part of your body during this entire practice. If that means taking a break, please do so. Let's take one more round of breath together. Inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, sigh it out. Wonderful. Let's move into child's pose. Coming onto hands and knees, bring your big toes to touch, knees spread wide, moving your hips back towards your heels, bring your hands out in front of you, forehead comes to the mat or to a block or to a pillow. Notice how this posture makes you feel. Maybe this is uncomfortable for you. If it is, go ahead and try bringing your knees together and see if that makes a difference. Just taking care of your body, breathing the entire time. Check in here and notice how your body feels in this posture as well. Breathing, filling all the way up, feeling your belly hit your thighs, and then exhaling, letting it all out. Two more rounds of breath here. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it all out. One more, big inhale, fill all the way up, and exhale, sigh it on out. Good. Slowly come up to all fours, tabletop position, shoulders stacked on top of wrists, fingers spread as wide as possible. Hips are stacked over your knees, toes are tucked or untucked. From here, I want you to just go ahead and do a little free movement. Maybe it's side to side, maybe it's hip circles. Whatever it is, just notice how your body is feeling today. Notice how everything is moving and keeping track of those areas that you may need to pay special attention to. Coming back to center, we're gonna do cat-cow. So on your inhale, drop your belly, bring your gaze up to where the ceiling meets the wall, and exhale, round your back like a Halloween cat and look under. Inhale, drop your belly and look up. Exhale, round and look under for cat. Good, couple more. Inhale, drop your belly and look up. 
Exhale, round for cat. Last one, inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, round, push through your hands and come back to neutral. From here, we're gonna move into thread the needle pose. So this is gonna be a really good shoulder stretch for you, but if your shoulders may not be feeling the best, just go ahead and take child's pose if that feels best for you. To move into thread the needle, inhale your right arm high, and exhale, thread that right arm underneath the left. Head can come to the mat, or again, you can use a block, whatever is most comfortable for you. Check in and make sure that you have equal weight distribution in both knees. And remember to breathe. Let's take a few breaths. Inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, let it all the way out. Inhale. And exhale. Good, one more. Inhale, expand your ribs. And exhale, push through that left hand, slowly come up, do a counter twist, and let that right hand come back down to the mat. Perfect, what we do on one side, we have to do on the other. Inhale that left arm high, exhale, thread it under the right, head comes down to the mat or to a block. Check that there's equal weight distribution in both knees and continue those big inhales and those long extended exhales. We're all twisted up here, so breath is even more important. Letting everything expand, letting your body still get the oxygen that it needs. Inhale, fill all the way up. And exhale, let it out. Inhale. And exhale. One more, fill up as much as you can. Exhale, push into that right hand, open up, and bring that left hand back down to the mat. From here, I want you to bring your hands a little bit in front of where they were, spread your fingers as wide as possible, tuck your toes under, and send your hips high for downward facing dog. Now check in with your downward facing dog. Maybe this is the first one you've ever done. Fingers are spread as wide as possible. You're pushing through your finger mounds, taking a little bit of weight off of your wrists. Biceps are next to your ears, and your shoulders are sliding away from your ears. Put a nice bend in your knees, and then go ahead and walk your dog. Just pedal out your feet, check in and see how your calves are feeling, your hamstrings. Excellent, let's take an inhale here. Exhale it all out. One more, inhale. Exhale, bring your big toes to touch and walk slowly up to the top of your mat for a forward fold. In your forward fold, put a nice deep bend in your knees. Now, some of you may need a block or even a chair, whatever feels best in your forward fold. It just depends on the day. Yesterday's yoga practice is not today's yoga practice, so don't hold yourself to any expectations. In your forward fold, try to, if you feel a lot of stretch in your hamstrings, give your knees a little bit deeper of a bend, and then try to release your neck muscles. Let your head hang heavy like a bowling ball. Excellent. Let's take a couple rounds of breath here. Inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, sink. Good, inhale and exhale. Good, next inhale, raise up halfway, bringing hands to shins or thighs for a flat back, creating length from the top of your head down through your tailbone. Shoulders again coming away from your ears. Everything is engaged here, legs, core muscles, everything. Let's take another inhale here, fill all the way up, create length. And exhale, forward fold. Put a deep bend into your knees and slowly roll all the way up to standing with arms overhead. Excellent. Now check in here. Make sure you can feel your feet on the mat. Make sure that every part of your foot is on the mat. Let your shoulders slide away from your ears, which for some of us may mean we need to take a little bit wider stance with our arms. 
and try tucking your tailbone down between your heels. Perfect. Now take a big breath, inhale and stand up tall. Exhale, let it all out. Good. On this inhale, get tall and exhale, cactus your arms, look up at your ceiling. Good, inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus and look up. Excellent, inhale and exhale, cactus those arms. One more time, inhale, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, cactus and look up. Good, inhale, arms up. Engage those core muscles. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, head moving away from tailbone. Exhale, forward fold. Now plant your hands on the mat, fingers spread wide, and step back to high plank. If high plank is not in your practice, feel free to come down to your knees. It's just as great, no problem. So from high plank or low plank, take an inhale, fill all the way up, and exhale, slowly lower all the way down, elbows grazing ribs. Untuck your toes so the tops of your feet are on the mat and push into them so that your knees lift. Inhale, come up for a small cobra and exhale, come all the way down. Let's do another one, that felt good. Inhale up and exhale down, perfect. Tuck those toes and push up to either high plank or tabletop. Perfect, take an inhale and plank, and exhale, downward facing dog. Perfect, now we're gonna move into our sequence. So take an inhale, lift that right leg high. Exhale, step it through for crescent lunge. Now check in with your balance. You should be on railroad tracks, not a tightrope. So make sure your feet are hip width distance apart. Make sure your knees stacked over your ankle and push through that back heel. When you feel steady, you can inhale and come up to crescent lunge. Bring your hands to your hips and make sure that you're aligned with the top of your mat. So left hip forward, right hip back. Perfect. Inhale, come on up. Take an inhale here, get tall. And exhale, open up to warrior two. So for warrior two, your back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Your front heel is intersecting with either your arch of your back foot or your heel of your back foot. Once you're here, look at your front foot. Make sure that you can see your toes. If you can't see your toes, move that knee a little bit towards the pinky toe side of your foot. Perfect. Inhale here. Exhale. Sink into the pose. Beautiful. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, flip that front hand, come forward up and back for reverse warrior. Maintain that bend in that front knee and keep breathing. Inhale, reach to that top hand, get longer. And exhale, maybe think about sinking a little bit deeper. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, return to warrior two. Good, let's do one round here. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, sink into the pose. Inhale, exhale, bring your forearm down to the top of your thigh, bring their arm overhead, left bicep next to left ear, and breathe. Inhale, fill up, reach through those top fingers, and exhale, sink. Inhale, create length and exhale, sink. One more here. Inhale, fill all the way up, side body stretch. Exhale, come on up, warrior two. Stay for a round of breath, inhale. Exhale, good. Inhale, bring your hands back down to the mat. Step back to high plank. Take a big breath here, fill all the way up. And exhale, lower all the way down. Untuck those toes. Inhale up for one cobra, exhale lower down. Tuck your toes, push up to plank or tabletop, and exhale downward facing dog. All right, time for the other side. Inhale that left leg high, exhale step it through for low lunge. 
In low lunge, you can always bring blocks or whatever you have around the house to help support you here. Not a problem. In low lunge, same on this side. Make sure you're on railroad tracks, not a tightrope. Make sure your knee is stacked over your ankle. We don't want to put any unnecessary strain on that knee. When you're feeling balanced, inhale up to standing. So let's do the same thing on this side. Hands to hips. Shift that right hip forward and that left hip back just so we can square off the hips. Arms come back up. Take a few rounds of breath here. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, sink into the pose. One of the great things about yoga is that using your imagination counts. So even if I say sink and you don't move, if you're thinking about it, it still counts. One more round of breath. Inhale, exhale it out. Good. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, open up warrior two, other side. So for this one, check in. Back foot is parallel to the side of the mat. Front heel is intersecting either the arch of the back foot or the heel. Front knee, you should be able to see some of your toes. If not, just move that knee a little towards the pinky side. Arms are straight out. This is warrior two. Be strong, take up space. Inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, perfect. One more here, inhale, and exhale. All right, inhale, exhale, flip that front palm, move it forward up and back for reverse warrior. Same thing here, bend on that front knee, every inhale creating length, reaching through that top hand, and every exhale, maybe thinking of sinking a little deeper, but you do not have to, it's not mandatory. One more, inhale, reach, and exhale, return to warrior two. Beautiful, inhale, exhale, come on down, extended side angle, forearm comes to the side of the thigh, right arm comes overhead, bicep next to ear, Keeping everything active, pushing through that back foot, maintaining the lunge in that front foot. Perfect. Inhale, reach through those top fingers, and exhale, release it all. Good. One more. Inhale, exhale it out. Good. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. Stay for a round of breath. Fill all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Step back to high plank and exhale, lower all the way down. Untuck your toes, inhale up for one cobra. Come on down and let's push back to child's pose. Again, that's big toes to touch, knees spread wide, forehead down to the mat or to a block. Now take time here to evaluate your breath. Take time to evaluate your body. We're about halfway done, so just check in. Check in with those parts that may have been achy or whatever, and just make sure that you're taking care of them. And check in with your breath. Try to maintain that big belly breath filling up from belly button all the way up to collarbones, and exhaling all the air out. Perfect. Take one more round of breath in child's pose. Use it to rejuvenate, to be ready for the next part. Take an inhale, fill all the way up, and exhale it all the way out. Perfect. Come back up to tabletop once you're out of child's pose. Everything is stacked. Tuck those toes, and let's move back in to downward facing dog. Remember, fingers spread wide, hips are high, Knees are bent. Take an inhale here and sigh it on out. Inhale, we're gonna do it again, right leg high. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Good, we're gonna move at a little bit of a faster pace. Inhale, crescent lunge. Good, check that your hips are level. Good, take an inhale, get tall. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Beautiful, stay for a round of breath. Make sure you're feeling balanced. Inhale, 
Exhale, flip that front palm, come forward, up and back for reverse warrior. Good, slowly return, warrior two. Stay for an inhale and exhale, extended side angle, left arm overhead. Good, reach through those top fingers. And your next inhale brings you up to warrior two. Beautiful. Stay for a round of breath. Fill all the way up. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Put them on the mat. Step back, high plank. Fill up here. Inhale. Exhale, lower down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Inhale up for cobra. Exhale, lower down. Tuck those toes. Push up to high plank or tabletop. And exhale, downward facing dog. Excellent, one more side, one more time, I promise. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Railroad tracks, not a tightrope. When you're feeling ready, inhale up to crescent lunge. Check on your hips, make sure they're all even with the front of your mat. Good, inhale, get tall. Exhale, open up, warrior two on the other side. Check in with your back foot, check in with your front knee. And when you're ready, inhale, fill up. Exhale, flip that front palm forward, up and back. Reverse warrior. Stay for a breath and come back to warrior two. Take an inhale here and exhale, extended side angle, forearm to the top of your thigh, right arm comes overhead, bicep next to ear. Inhale, reach to that top hand. Exhale, sink into the pose. Take an inhale, brings you back up to warrior two. Stay for the breath here. Take the time, fill all the way up. And exhale, come down, plant your hands, step back to high plank. Take an inhale, fill all the way up. And exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Last cobra, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, lower down, perfect. Push back to child's pose. Big toes to touch, knees spread wide. Take a minute to catch your breath. I certainly need to. Focus on your body, focus on what's going on. Maybe you're on a yoga mat, maybe you're not. Wherever you are, just take time to focus on what's going on in this moment. Use your breath to stay present. Inhale, filling up, giving your body what it needs, and exhaling, letting all that stuff out. Beautiful. Let's start to walk our hands over to the right while we're in child's pose. You can bring that left hand on top of the right, or you can just reach out whatever feels the best for you. Head is still down, creating a side stretch on that left side of the body. Inhaling and filling all the way up, allowing your ribs to expand, allowing everything over there to get a little bit more space. Take one more inhale here. And on your exhale, walk your hands over to the left hand side and breathe. Filling all the way up, now letting that right side body expand. Getting everything on that side. Enough space. Keep breathing, inhaling, filling all the way up. And exhaling, coming back to the center, coming back to child's pose. Take one inhale here. And exhale it out. Good. Make your way to a seat, and then find your way all the way onto your back. Awesome. Now that we're here, take a moment. You can close your eyes if you would like, but just take a moment to try to release something. Maybe you'll notice that you're really scrunching your eyes, maybe your eye, the muscles around your eyes, or maybe your tongue is pressed to the roof of your mouth. Notice that and try to find something to release. Good, take an inhale here and bring your right knee into your chest for a supine twist and bring it over 
to the left side of your body. Gaze is straight up at the ceiling or over at your right hand, maintaining your breath here, filling all the way up, creating length from hips to shoulders, and noticing how your body feels in this posture. Keep breathing. Sometimes when we slow down, our brain comes back online and tells us that we have emails and phone calls and things to do. Try to just focus on your breath, even though things are slowing down a little bit, and try to just be here in this moment, breathing. Take another big inhale, fill all the way up. And exhale, slowly come back to center, hug that knee back in, and then let it come out to meet the left. Got to switch it up. Inhale, left knee into chest. Exhale, shift those hips a little to the left. Bring that knee over across your body. Gaze is up or to the left. It really depends on what your spine is telling you feels right. If your cervical spine is up for it, feel free to look over to the left, but it is not mandatory. This is your practice, and it's your body, and you know how best to take care of it. Keep filling up. Keep creating length. Keep that breath going. As long as you're thinking inhale, exhale, you're doing it perfectly. As long as you're breathing, you're doing everything perfectly. Take one big breath here and slowly come back to center. Bring that left knee back in and then let it come out to meet the right. I'm going to sit up, but you feel free to stay right where you are. So, have, this is yoga rest. This is permission to rest not only your body, but also your brain. You have nothing that you have to do anymore. The practice, the physical practice of yoga is over. Feel free to close your eyes and please stay here as long as you want to. This is your practice. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I'm so grateful that you chose to practice with me today. The light in me sees, honors, and respects the light in you. Namaste.